Welcome to episode 13 of Mage 2 Kata, the Event Observer Kata. It's been a long time since the last episode, much longer than I had anticipated. Work-related travel, summer vacation, and suddenly it's October. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm picking it back up again, and when I started with this project, I promised I would make 26 episodes, so one year of bi-weekly content, and that's what I'm going to produce, even though I don't want to promise I'll finish them within one year anymore. Still, I really intend to push off the next few episodes a lot quicker. Right, regarding event observers, I think in Magento 2 probably most of them have been replaced, or most use cases have been replaced with plugins. But, well, events still exist, they're useful, I consider them stable, and many developers coming from Magento 1 are probably more familiar with event observers rather than plugins. So I think it's probably a good idea to cover them so we know how to test them. Please let me know what you think after you watch the episode. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching and let's get started. For this kata I've created a little module called mage to kata Event Observer. And the only thing it contains is a setup class that adds a product attribute Magento SE points. And that's pretty much it. This integration test just covers the basic module configuration. The purpose of the event observer we are going to create during this cutter is to copy the attribute value from the product to the quote item whenever a product is added to the cart. So we'll use the checkout cart product add after event. We can test different aspects of event observers. We can test the configuration is correct. We can also test the actual code within each event observer. And then finally, it probably also makes sense to test our code and our configuration works correctly and integrates correctly with the whole of the Magento platform. So the first and the third type of test would be integration test. And the second part, the actual event observer PHP code, we can write that using TDD and uh, unit test. And um, we're going to do all three in this kata, and just for kicks, we're going to start with the third one, the integration test this time, and once that then passes, we know that we're done. This integration test could be done many different ways. I'll just choose that what I want to do is I want to dispatch the event, and the event arguments are the product and the quote item, and afterwards we can assert that the value has been set on the quote item. This integration test will only start passing once we have completed the other parts of the kata and our module is complete. Okay, let's get started. Okay, a name. Observer copies product attribute to quote item test. PHP unit framework test case. Test our setup is okay. Let's fail this. Yep, it fails and for the right reason. Good. Now let's rename this to test. Observer copies Magento SE points to from product to quote item. So what do we need? We need a product. And these long lists are inconvenient. It should be the Magento catalog model product. And um, let's give this a type hint so PHP Storm knows what it is. Good. What else? We need the quote item. Uh, 
and this time we're going to import this one. Uh, let's alias that to something more descriptive. Okay, what other setup do we need? Well, let's set the custom attribute on the product. Magento SE points to 500. And finally, to dispatch an event, we need the event manager. Um, that was one of the manager interfaces. Right, let's make this a little nicer. Okay, so now we can call event manager dispatch. Here I'm going to copy the event code and the argument name straight out of the cart class so they are exactly the same. Fix that and then we've got the exact same event. Finally, we can add the assertion 500 quote item get data magento se points oh that won't do it's good to look at more than just the current line once in a while good now let's run this test and of course it will fail since there's no code that could make it succeed yeah right so let's start with the unit tests for the event observer itself and I want to put the event observer class into a subdirectory inside of the module called observer. So I'll create those directories first. All right, this is going to be a checkout cart product add after observer test. PHP unit framework test case. Um, right, where do we start? I want a test that will allow me to create the class. Oops, wrong test. Let's run the unit tests instead. And of course it fails. Time to create that class. Did that get created in the right directory? Yeah, good. Don't need that. Test passes. OK, let's go back to the test. Um, now, test implements observer interface. This assert instance of observer interface. And it fails again, back to red. So let's implement the observer interface, which forces us to implement the method execute. And yep, very good. Oh, let's alias that import, just because I prefer it that way. Everything still green? Yep, okay. So back to our test, and I'll leave this test. And I guess there's not much more to test besides checking everything is copied over. Test copies magento se points to quote item. What do we need? Once again we need a product. Let's make that a mock product. Disable the constructor and we'll need the mock quote item. <laughs> also disabling the constructor. Um, right, then we'll need the attribute, the mock custom attribute. Uh, 
that would be this one. It has no constructor since it's an interface. Hmm. Let's configure the attribute. Method get value will return 42. That's step one. And now mock product method get custom attribute with magento se points will return mock attribute. And for the test expectation, the mock quote item expects exactly once method set data with Magento SE points 42 to be called. Good. Now let's create our event observer and call execute. Ah, we need the event parameter. Get mock. Hmm, I'm not sure of the original class of the argument. So we should be able to get that class name right here. Copy reference. Import that and alias that as well. It's a concrete class, so we'd better disable the original constructor. And now we can configure the mock event. Method get data will return map. And the map is an array. And there are two cases. The first one is is get data is called with product. It should return the mock product. And if it's called with quote item, oops, then it should return the mock quote item. Right, now we can execute our observer with our mock event. Actually, I'd like to inline that. And here we go, it fails because set data wasn't called. Time to head over to the observer. Product is event get data product quote item is event get data quote item and I like to import the classes and where is the quote model item Now PHP Storm can give me auto completion. Let's set the data on the quote item. Magento SE points, product, get custom attribute, um, Magento SE points, and get value. And we're green. So time to go back to our integration tests. And we're still missing one of them here since we haven't yet configured the event observer. And because of that, our original test is still failing. So let's go ahead and create a new integration test dedicated to the event observer configuration. I'll call this one checkout card add product after observer config test. Test, checkout, cart, add, product after, observer is configured. So what do we need here? We need the observer configuration. There's a class for that. Create, and it's a configuration interface. 
Here we go, this one. Let's call this event config. And now we really should add a type hint here. Um, get observers, check out cart product, add after. And now we can add some assertions. For one, the observers array should have the key mage to Carter's event observer. That will be our observer name. And let's also assert that the configuration contains the correct observer class. So the expected value is the class name of our observer. And the value will come from our observers array mage to kata event observer instance. Oh, and there's one last thing to do, which is to trim out any leading backslashes from the class name because the value in the configuration won't have any either. And even though I know it's going to fail, I still want to see it fail before we make it pass. Very good. So now it's time to add the configuration. Check out cart product add after mage to kata event observer. I'll add the observer class later. Because thanks to the Magento 2 PHP Storm plugin, here we have auto completion. Which one is it? This one. Let's go ahead and clear the cache in the test environment since we added some configuration XML. Run the test. And we're green. Great. And the unit tests also still pass. So this completes this cutter. Please let me know if you have any further questions or comments. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Happy testing. Until next time.